Hello, my name is Daniel Tekhanoff. I am an attorney and self-published author in Fresno County, California. Today I would like to present to you how to use the unique indexes in Farron's Records and Elliott's Debates. Farron's Records is the shorthand term for describing the original records of the Federal Convention of 1787 and Elliott's Debates is the shorthand way of referring to the records of the debates in the state ratification conventions which approved the new U.S. Constitution and started our new country. Okay, here we go. We're going to look at the indexes in Farron's records. These are the records of the Federal Convention of 1787 edited by Max Farron. This is volume three. This was published in 1911 and is now out of copyright. It's free and available to everybody over the internet. So, um, go to page 654. And there you'll find the beginning of the general index. The general index is not like your typical indexes. It is really a speaker by speaker index contained within a general index. You cannot look, for example, for the word amendment or constitutional amendment. That won't be in the general index. There is another index, a clause by clause index, which I will show you. But for example, here in the general index, um, we can go to somebody's name like James Madison. You'll see right here. And his references will go on for the next three pages. And so you have to actually read through all of the references to James Madison to look through for any particular topic that he was speaking on. Now, there is another index. It is a clause by clause index. And it's actually very good for those of us who are serious students. So on page 636, indexes by clauses of the Constitution. And so, for example, if you go down a ways, we want to look for Article 5, the Amendment Article. And as you can see, there aren't that many page references because they did not talk about the Amendment Article and that much until the very end. And even then, it's a pretty short conversation. And so studying the Amendment Clause takes less effort than studying the other clauses. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the indexes in Eliot's Debates. Here is Volume 3 of Eliot's Debates, the actual title, The Debates in the Several State Conventions on the Adoption of the Federal Constitution, as recommended by the General Convention at Philadelphia in 1787. This is Volume 3. Initially, there were four volumes. A fifth volume was added later after Madison's notes came out. Jonathan Elliott is the editor, and that's why we call it Elliott's Debates. The indexes in Elliott's Debates are up front, not in the back, and they are a speaker by speaker index. And so this is the record of the Virginia State Ratification Convention where James Madison and Patrick Henry and others uh, attended. And here you can see the speakers' names and then various issues that they are discussing. So here's Patrick Henry. And basically, with Elliott's debates, you have to go through each speaker's name. And for example, if you're looking at the, um, at the subject of amendments, You look through and you find it. If you if we want to look for any references to the preamble, we the people, here it is. 
And so you have to go through each speaker's name. It just takes a little bit more time, but it's actually a relatively short index and uh, will not take you that much time. It's just a little bit different. If you want a constitutional convention of the people, or you just want to learn more, please take a look at my book, Guide to the First Article 5 Convention of the People, The Constitutional Path to Taking Our Country Back.